When the ABLP government took office in June of 2014, it had no idea that APUA owed debts in excess of $142 million to a number of entities according to the cabinet report. $80 million of this was owed to the West Indies Oil Company for fuel, $40 million to the Antigua Power Company, APC for power supplied, and $22 million to Semcorp for water supplied. A number of debts have been offset and it is towards the goal of elimination of outstanding amounts that the government is heading, as Minister Melford Nicholas explains. The whole notion of the cash flow um, from APUA in terms of improved collections, in terms of reducing its own cost envelope, does allow APUA to have more cash flow to be able to meet its current obligations and service some of the arrears. So I think uh, that is the way that we have approached the matter is just that we cannot eliminate all the debt in APUA. They have carried, they still continue to carry a portfolio of debt, but they're in a much better position to service it and to remain current. As it relates directly to the APC, Minister Nicholas clarifies a power purchase agreement currently in place. In 2007, uh, there were uh, there are a number of engines that constitutes the power purchase in the power purchase arrangements. And in the when the power purchase agreement was renewed in 2007, there was already a significant equity in one of the engines that the APUA had on an earlier power purchase agreement and a boot operation. That ownership was rolled into the new power purchase agreement. And in consequence, there is uh, this ongoing uh, renewal of power purchase agreements. I believe in this new power purchase agreement that is being contemplated. Uh, major ownership in um, one of the engines our portion of the capacity at, at uh, Krabs will be uh, retained by APUA. So the cost to APUA is still going to be reduced and um, we are going to be in a better position to give uh, full disclosure. Chief of Staff Lionel Max Hurst explains that APUA has been emerging from the burden of debt but sometimes finds itself unable to access credit because of its inherited history of failure to pay. The APUA is therefore requiring the APUA is therefore requiring cash injections to acquire new equipment and to replace old consumables and capital items, he says, and adds that as the resource base improves, APUA will address the deficiencies that have plagued it in previous times. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.